So in this application, we have a business object that contains users and passwords. Okay, so combinations of the two. And this is this business object. And then we have a login page. And in the login page, we can put in a user and a password. So for example, if I put in Scott and Max as the password and I click the verify button, I would get the information that this is the wrong user and password. However, if I put in Scott and Tiger, and I click the verify, then this is the correct username and password. Okay, And this works for the other combination as well. Again, if I use the correct one, we're fine. If I modify one of those, we'll get the errors. Okay, so how did we get to this page design? So this page is actually a create page on a new business object. So if you actually look here, this is a business object called query, okay, where we created two fields, the password and the user fields that we put on the page. Okay. And we have the verify button. And if we look at the verify button, okay, this does a custom set of JavaScript code that goes over, looks up at the user object, the pass and the user fields that are in there, and compares them to the uh, queue user and queue pass fields. This is what we're getting in this section. Okay, uh, so we're creating a condition referring to those values from the screen and comparing them. Okay, uh, for the specific fields, which is what we got here. Okay, so we're defining a condition. We're defining an operation that uses the business object and uses the condition. It performs the operation, basically does the query. And then if we actually have data returned, which means that we have this combination in the database, we're resolving uh, with OK. If we don't have anything, we're resolving, uh, or we're actually rejecting, basically uh, raising a failure. So these steps can either succeed or fail. If we have failure, then we're showing an error message. And if we have succeed, we're showing a success message. You don't have to show a message, you can also do navigation. So for example, I can remove this step and instead navigate to another page in the application. So for example, I can navigate to the success page. So now if we run this page, again, this combination would fail. But if we have the right combination, we'll go to the success page. So this is a basic login scenario. A um, couple of more things to highlight. Business object, okay. We have the user's business object, two fields here, okay, pass and user. Note that while the default, the label says user, because this is a reserved word, the actual ID of the field is user underscore. This is what we're using in the JavaScript code. And of course, the other business object that we have here is the query business object with the two fields, which are QPass and QUSER. 